Blessed love, this is Mikey General, and I want you to know we're embracing the great aromatic, realistic TV on YouTube. And you don't know, like, share, and subscribe. Unseen blessing from every side. Listen, aromatic man, of them have the vibes. Well, well, yeah. Bless Reality check, man, from your device, you know, you know, it's a unique one, aromatic, realistic TV. Anyway, tonight, my viewers and subscribers at home and people who live in the diaspora abroad. Tonight, we are looking at our youths. And where is the urgency to protect our youths? Where is the, the sincere genuineness, the care, the empathy to protect the next generation that is coming after us. Where is the value that is, you know, placed in our youths? Where I'm getting at, I just see a report from the Prime Minister of Jamaica, Andrew Wallace, and the Member of Parliament, for oh yeah, East Rural is constituency where them have some youths up there painting the sidewalk in yellow and green. So all we you them now, you know, them have involved in them tribal politics. No care, you know, to protect them, you know, and to preserve them, you know, for the next generation, you know. The youth of today, you know, remember, you know, is the man of tomorrow, you know. We have no care of presenting them with proper education, job training, for them to be a better man for tomorrow. But instead, we have them painting sidewalk in labor right color, yellow and green. Anyway, I want to play this clip and I'm going to dissect it with political commentator Paul Ashley. Painting a section of the sidewalk curb green along Seaward Drive in St. Andrew during the Christmas. At a holiday work miss, one resident explained, in reference to the $1.4 billion mitigation and cleaning program, $22 million for each constituency. The area, West Central St. Andrew, the Member of Parliament, Prime Minister Andrew Holness. It is illegal. It is illegal. It is against the political code of conduct. Yeah. It's against the road traffic law. People should not put their children right. out to do this. This is adults. Children are in sidewalk or in uh, curbs. Children do that. Children take their money and buy ice cream. So that was political commentator Paul Ashley. And that was a report. From TVJ. And what Paul Ashley was outlining to the people of Jamaica is that it is illegal. It is illegal. It is against the political code of conduct. It is against the road traffic law. Let me state it again. It is illegal. It is illegal. It is against the political code of conduct. It is against the road traffic law. People should not put children out there to do this. This is adult stuff. 
children should not be used to paint sidewalk. Pitney should have out there in a the summer. They use their little money by ice cream. You understand what I say? The pitney them should have out there to enjoy them summer. Take their little money and go buy ice cream. But it did not take political commentator Paul Ashley to tell Aromatic Realistic TV that it's illegal. You understand? Because I'm of sound mind. I am not stupid. I'm not retarded. So I know what is wrong from what is right. So it not take Paul Ashley to remind me that me already know that. And it should not take Paul Ashley to remind the Prime Minister that. It should not take a Paul Ashley to remind the people who is in the Prime Minister constituency that. Because remember the box stop the Prime Minister of Jamaica. We the people of Jamaica give the Prime Minister the mandate to serve at the highest capacity locally and internationally to make sure at all times no, now we not get left behind and every Jamaican under his administration should live to their full potential. So if that is the prime minister constituency and him no know what they're going in there, something wrong, you can't come and tell me, say, Something like this that take place in the Prime Minister constituency and the Prime Minister is not aware of what is going on. Because in the first place, there's nothing can go on in that constituency without the Prime Minister. Go ahead. You understand what I'm saying? Nothing can take place in that constituency without the Prime Minister. Go ahead. Anyway, we're going to continue to listen to the clip and dissect it. Now, this isn't the first time it's being done either. On a tour of the constituency, we observed several green painted sidewalk curb along with green political flags. From sections of Seawar Drive to Olympic Way in the West Central St. Andrew constituency, the sidewalks have all been painted green and white. Now we did notice that some sections were left bare and we were told that it's because of the school zone. But even at the Seaward Primary and Infant School, we did notice fresh paint of green and white over the yellow sidewalks. We reached out to the office of the Prime Minister, but we did not receive a response. Notably, in the vicinity of the Olympic Gardens Police Station, the curbs were untouched. A police source told us that painting sidewalks in some areas could stir up tension. In fact, it happened in the central Kingston constituency. Then political ombudsman Donna Parchment Brown ordered that the sidewalks be repainted. That was in 2020. But when we revisited, the curbs were not repainted. Residents told us that even recently someone repainted the curbs on Hanover Street green in the Christmas. However, after public outrage, the curb was repainted in yellow. The people that are doing that in the so-called garrisons are represented by the people who live in quote-unquote gated communities. These are not painted that way. You don't dare paint it one color or the other. That is what the ghetto people must realize. And so... You hear what the man just said? Eh? You hear the man briefing to the nation? What him say? And you hear what he might tell the ghetto people them say? Hmm? Listen, the people who are doing that in the so-called garrison are represented by the people who live in quote-unquote gated community. These communities are not painted. You don't dare 
paint one in either color, orange or red. You can't go the go see no orange flags. You can't go the go see no green flags or no yellow flags or no black flags. When you the go there, you no see no curb painting a orange and, uh, 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 and black or green and yellow. Dear you to try to do something like that. And before he end, he said to us, the ghetto and garrison people, this is what the ghetto people must realize. This is what the ghetto and the garrison people they must realize. So the people them where they represent Uno. Uno can't go, they go put up no red flags and no yellow flags and no green flags. And Uno can't go, they go paint up no street. They must send a message. It is very important for us, the Jamaican people, to get back to basics. And when I say that, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is key. And if you don't have the money, to give your youth, to pay for the lunch, to pay for something for a house and send him off at school. Give him one two bottle of drinks, make two sandwich. That means to say at the break time and the lunch time, he can't have something to munch pan. When he come back home, he's coming back home to a warm meal. It is very important here and beyond for us not to limit our youths from education because them not have lunch money for go to school send them go on prepare lunch for yard file paper or buy a lunch kit for them and send them out because the few little people out there who claim that they are intellect and they are using those people to come and give them big speech to convert the youths them want to have no wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Nothing in a den cranium. Nothing in a den cranium. So for us to eliminate that kind of doctrination to our people, we can't stop them from going to school. We can't have them sit on a yard again. Them have to go there. Because that is the only way we're going to empower them. For them to make better decisions for themselves going forward. But let us get back on track. And ask ourselves some question. Ask ourselves some question like. Where is the value for our youth? Where is the urgency to save our youths? Where is the care? The sincere genuineness to preserve the next generation. Where is it? These are the questions that we must ask as a people. Because the sad reality is in a Jamaica. The sad reality is, is that when they not beat them, bruise and batter them, and left them for dead, then cut them short. Jamaica, the sad reality about our youths, when they not beat them, bruise and batter them, and left them for dead, then cut them short, Jamaica. Leak out them blood. Cut up them body and take away their body parts for organ harvesting. Jamaica, when they not cut our throats, they send us away through that human trafficking ring. Jamaica, when they not cut our kids them throat, they send them away through that human trafficking ring for cheap labor 
and for sex slaves. How many of our kids went missing last year and we did not hear a word from the Prime Minister or his administration? Think about it, Jamaica. Now, we have them painting sidewalks. Where is the value? Where is the sincere love? Where is the care? Where is the protection for them? Where is the urge of saving and protecting the next generation? Talk to me, Jamaica. How much lower than this administration go? But the honest truth, Jamaica, nothing that this Andrew Oles led administration do surprise aromatic anymore. Let I rephrase and repeat. But the honest truth, Jamaica. Nothing that this Andrew Oldness led administration do surprise aromatic anymore. It does not surprise me at all to see the labor rights still support Andrew Oldness in everything that he do you know what i said let i repeat and rephrase it does not surprise me to see the labor rights still support and oldness in everything that he do you understand? This is an administration that don't care about our youth. They don't care about preserving the next generation of Jamaica. They don't care. Why? If you care about the youth of today shall be the man of tomorrow then you would pay the teachers so the teacher can protect and preserve the next generation you tell the teacher you won't give them a livable wages but at the same time you and your alibabers can go in the house of parliament and give yourself a 300 and 200 and 50 PA increase. They go further than that. When it takes them two years to implement the new road traffic law. You know hear what I just said? It takes the Andrew Oldness led administration two years to come up with the new road traffic law and when them come up with the law and put it into effect them leave our baby and our baby mothers them on the road hours of night them a forced taxi driver to put your seat in a them private car and if they don't comply, there was some big fine that they were slapping these driver with. So the driver then stand back and say, we now go run that there is. We want to carry the babies them. 
but we now go pay 15 and 20,000 for a ticket. So just think about it. An administration that takes two years to implement the road traffic law and when they do, then leave our baby them on the roadside. Hours a night. No, you and me know oh, a style of a Jamaica right now. And when you create a new road traffic law that force our baby mothers and our youths them to walk home because the taxes refuse to carry them because they don't want to pay that ticket. You leave our youths them and our baby mothers them vulnerable in arms way so you want to tell me that an administration like that care about you i'm not surprised i'm not surprised i am not surprised but if you know what would surprise me is to wake up one morning and here's the people go to the polling board and re-elect Andrew Owens. That would surprise me. You know what I just said? The only thing that can surprise me is to wake up and get a shocking news that the Jamaican people them re-elect Andrew Owens and next time. You understand what I said? Because I have full confidence in the Jamaican people. Know what this man and his administration has done to them. To make good sense prevail and do the right thing. You understand? And do the right thing. Just think about that, Jamaica. But we listen some more. Are the clippings? Oh, we did. TVJ News visited other middle and upper class communities where many of the political directorate reside, including the Prime Minister. No green, no orange curbs neither political flags nor posters for political and social commentator paul ashley there is urgent need to operationalize the office of the political ombudsman equally important are more stinging sanctions you see it's nice to pass resolutions to have people sign a nice code of co codes of conduct but nobody enforces it it needs to be enforced Justice Minister Delroy Chuck says there are plans to have the Office of the Political Ombudsman up and running by the end of January. Delroy Chuck at the Jamaica Labour Party destroy the political ombudsman. You know? The only referee who sit in the middle between the PMP and the JLP or any other group as when they flare up and get heated and passionate to come and say, listen to me, tone it down. That can't work, yes, sir. This can't work, yes, sir. Get rid of that. The Jamaica Labour Party get rid of the political ambassador. You understand what I say? So what I say, you know, what this man, you know, actually is telling us, you know, and telling the youth, them, you know, but in the, the ghetto and the garrison, you know, as in say, so-called ghettos are so-called garrison. The people them where they represent you. You can't go, you go paint up the, the, the sidewalk. The people them where they represent you, you no can't go, you go nail up no flags from the light post. And that the man are telling you, you know. So the man has said to you, you say, oh, you know, allow yourself in this 21st century. Be still being manipulated by these people who don't have no regard for Uno brother. Think about that. Just think about that. Where is the value for our youths? 
Where is the value for our youth, Jamaica? Where is the urgency? Where is the sincere love, the genuineness, and the care for our youth to save them? To rescue them for the next generation? The only thing that we can see, then get beat up in the street. Use and abuse. Slash them short. Take away them blood. Send away them body parts for organ harvesting. Secretly and sneaking. Send them away through that human trafficking ring. For cheap labor and sex slave. And when that no enough, you don't have them now. The paint curb in your constituency. The Prime Minister of Jamaica, Andrew Wallace. The buck stop with you, boss. We, the people of Jamaica, elect you. We, the people of Jamaica, give you that mandate to serve us at the highest level, the highest capacity, locally and internationally. Your duty is to represent on our behalf. Your duty is to make sure that none of us left behind. Your duty is to make sure that every single human being from Jamaica live to his or her full potential. And your watch. We give you the mandate to do so, Prime Minister. But you fail us once more in your constituency. You are the MP. Whatever you say goes. Nobody dare challenge you or go behind your back and do anything in your constituency. Without your advice or without your go ahead. So, this is telling me that you are fully aware of what was taking place in your constituency. As the Prime Minister of Jamaica, the man who is in the highest office, the man who sits at the highest authority. The buck stop with you because there is nothing can go on or take place in your constituency without your advice, without your command, without your go ahead. So no one can tell me that the Prime Minister of Jamaica, Andrew Oldness, and the MP for that constituency did not know that the baby them went out there the peeing sidewalk in his constituency <laughs> tell me what you think my viewers and subscribers in the comment section them said tom junk but trust and believe tom is not fool tom is watching and tom is watching keenly <laughs> You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, man. It is serious in the 21st century, my people. But anyway, as Aromatic always say, remember to like and share Jamaica. Spread the message, man. You understand? Spread the message. Invite your friend, man, your brother, your sister, your mother, your cousin. Tell them to take a look at Aromatic Realistic TV. Because you see that youth there, the youth that they fight for it. 
The youth then and do it for himself. If it was for me, I would not do it. But trust and believe. I'm doing it for you guys. Because at the end of the day, we want a better Jamaica. And Jamaica must serve us all. Jamaica is not supposed to serve 1% of the people. 1% of the people, that's not Jamaica. Ninety nine percent of us, along with that one percent to make it a hundred, is Jamaica. And I am fighting for a better Jamaica. Not just for me, but for you. Not just for my grandkids, but for your grandkids too. We you continue to tell them, say to love your neighbor. And treat them with respect. The respect that you command from someone else. You should have the courtesy within yourself to always can render that same respect to someone else. The struggle is real, and there is no way that the struggle can get realer under this and owners led administration. Corruption. And scandal after scandal after scandal. Seven years going into eight years. And Andrew Oles and his administration destroy our beautiful Jamaica. It's time for us to stand up and take back our beautiful Jamaica. It doesn't matter who is in power. But from here and beyond, we the people have to start make our voice be heard. And for these people to know that we are not going to sit back anymore and allowing them to trample over us. Jamaica is for us. And we are going to stand up and we are going to take back our country. Be well, my people. We tell them it's a God and good word. And the signature word. Art of love. Art of love. Art of love. Peace. Out.